CES 2025 is coming to a close, so it's time to look back at all the biggest hardware news, with the biggest news being the new graphics cards from NVIDIA and AMD. Starting off with NVIDIA, we were able to check out five different manufacturers' 5000 series cards, from the mainstream 5070 all the way up to the flagship 5090. With so many variations on each design, be sure to check out our full reviews and comparisons in the coming weeks as these cards are released. AMD didn't officially announce their new 9070 and 9070 XT at their press conference, but that didn't stop manufacturers from showing off their new cards as we were able to take a look at cards from Gigabyte, ASRock, ASUS, PowerColor, Sapphire, and XFX. With these cards rumored to be releasing as soon as this month, we don't have long to wait to see how they compare to the competition. Motherboards weren't exactly a hot item at CES, but that doesn't mean there weren't new ones announced. Whether you're looking for Intel or AMD, ATX or ITX, white or black, performance or mainstream, there was something for everyone. Detailing all the options will be way too much for this video, so be sure to check out techpowerup.com for all the details. One big push we saw at CES was in PC case individuality, whether that be in color, size, material, and of course, RGB lights. Two notable cases would be the Origin Arachnid, which as name implies, sort of looks like a spider, and the Cooler Master Cooling X Pro, which comes built in with a massive 720mm AIO. On the topic of PC cooling, Thermaltake showed off several different machines running extravagant water cooling setups, including this complete immersion system. Though perhaps one of the most notable setups came from Ice Giant, which showed off their Titan 360 AIO and uses evaporative cooling to keep your CPU cool with no moving parts. Monitors were also a key focus, with multiple companies announcing both high refresh rates high contrast rates with OLED, or other quality of life enhancements, such as this ASUS monitor that powers down the display when you walk away without interrupting your gaming. 2025 is shaping up to be a big year for handheld gaming as well, with many vendors showing off their upcoming handhelds, and this could just be the beginning with SteamOS on the horizon. And that's just scratching the surface for what was shown at CES. There is also the controller from GameSir that clips onto your phone for gaming on the go, gaming routers that look like spiders, and others that help you stay connected even outdoors, the latest generation of portable storage and flash drives, keyboards, tablets, speakers, 3D printers, watches with cameras for kids, even board games and washing machines. And every shape of vehicle you can imagine. But for the latest in PC hardware coming out of CES, be sure to check out our in-depth coverage over at techpowerup.com.